It'll just be a video chart on ticker symbol XUII. We will take a look at the daily time frame. Did this one a couple days ago when the drama was really in full force, uh, but I want to get it updated again just because, uh, quite frankly, it's a pretty impressive chart, uh, the way it's been able to weather the drama and just fight through it. Now, whether or not that continues, uh, you know, that's a million dollar question, but the good news is with charts, we can actually have a roadmap that will kind of guide us and answer that question for us. So, um, again, lots of drama going on with this one, but uh, the drama has come and past i think the worst of it uh, is there maybe there could be more who knows uh, you never know in the penny game but uh this day right here was obviously the big drama day you can see that's when this volume bar happened uh, but what, what's key now is to look and you see that since then the volume has dropped off which is good especially when you had everything going on and the price has uh sure it's been red sure it's not up to where it was but the point being uh, it's bounced two days in a row very nicely and has now been maintaining its gains and then obviously today put in a nice green candle so that's what I mean when I say it's a, a pretty impressive chart given all the drama I'm not going to get into the drama if you've been following this one I'm sure you know what I mean uh, but drama is uh, that's just what I'm going to leave it at so in terms of pointing out and making kind of a road map in terms of what we want to see and so forth I talked about this level in the last video I did so it changes to represent support but this area here or zone as we'll call it is the level that you really want to see uh, hold and maintain itself and this level is between uh, 31 cents and we'll call it uh, 29 cents you can see the price has dropped below it yes uh, a couple of times but it's been able to hold above it uh, and maintain for closes whenever the closing bell came around. So that's going to be an important level. You know, any closes below this area, uh, then, you know, my skepticism of the chart really begins to creep back in. But as long as the price can maintain above this support zone, uh, you know, I think it's at least worth keeping on the watch list. Because if anything, this, you know, has, has, has great liquidity so you can, you know, trade in and out of it. Now, in terms of retesting highs, uh, I don't think that's too far-fetched, especially given, like I've already talked about, the way it was able to weather the drama storm and uh, I don't want to say hold its gains because it definitely lost its gains but it's not like the chart completely collapsed or anything like that so I would not be shocked in the least to see it at least go up there and retest these previous highs up there at 43 cents obviously there's no such thing as a guarantee in the markets but would it shock me to see it at least go up there and retest it it would not shock me at all given the way it's been able to fight through all that drama. So it'll be a very interesting chart next week and one that I'll be watching closely. And, you know, if it can break through these highs up here, then, you know, who knows, uh, all bets are off. It's it's definitely a blue sky breakout at that point. But uh, just watch the support zone closely. That's kind of the key, in my opinion, at least to uh, whether or not this chart's going to be able to maintain itself and potentially, you know, go to new highs. So if there are any other questions on the chart, please let me know. If not, I'd encourage you to sign up for our newsletter up there when you do that. You will receive a free ebook. And if you enjoyed the video and want to learn more about charting and how to use it in your strategy as a trader, I'd encourage you to click down here, check out our video course over eight and a half hours of education and teaching, been getting great third party reviews. So I'd encourage you to check it out and give it a try. One more time, this was XUII. Thanks for listening and have a great weekend.